Shalom, Chevre. This is Richard Solomon. And this is week number three in our course. And I'm going to demonstrate some additional web tool skills, including the use of Google Video and Voice plugin and Skype. Now, in our previous tutorial, we asked you to install Google's Video and Voice plugin by clicking in here. And I'm assuming that A, you obviously have a Gmail account and you installed Google's Video and Voice plugin. And today we're going to demonstrate how to engage in a video chat with Elaine or Katrina or anyone else in the class and send a text message to all the members of our cohort. So let's demonstrate how to do that. In order to do that, you need to get to your Gmail account. This is my Gmail account. And you need to activate your chat area. Remember, you activate your chat area by clicking on this chat icon. And you'll see that these are all the different people whom I have invited to be folks with whom I can video chat or audio chat and call their phones, etc. As a reminder, if you want to invite someone, you just put their Gmail into this particular search box. Okay. So let's say I want to engage in a conversation with Elaine. All right, let's pop out this particular dialogue box. And if I wanted to engage in a video chat with Elaine, I would click here. If I wanted to call Elaine's computer, I would click here. Or if I would want to add someone to this chat, I would click over here. But right now, let's say we want to engage Elaine in a text chat, and I'll pose a question uh, to Elaine. And the question I'm going to ask is, So I just raised a question to Elaine. I'll hit the return. And I asked the question, what is the best aspect of teaching in your opinion? And if Elaine has her computer on, which I think she does, and she has her Gmail on, and she is available, she'll give us an answer. And you can see that she is typing. Now while she's typing an answer, let me just remind you, that if I wanted to call her computer, I could click here. Or if I wanted to add another person, I would click here. And while Elaine is typing, I'll also mention that if I wanted to call someone's phone, I could actually click over here and call their phone and dial it. But let's get back to our conversation with Elaine. And she just wrote, the best aspect of teaching is the aha moment that occurs. All right. So, if I wanted to now invite Katrina to be a part of this conversation, I click on this icon and I place Katrina's Gmail account in the box. I'll copy it. I'll place it right over here. And I'll hit invite. Return and then invite. And although Katrina is not currently online, when she 
gets online and she opens her Gmail account and activates her chat, she will be able to participate in this conversation. So we have demonstrated how to activate and start a video call, how to call someone's computer, how to add someone to the chat, and we also demonstrated how to call someone's phone at home all through the use of this particular plugin. All right, so what is the next item that we want to demonstrate? How to send a Gmail message to any member of the class in which you upload a file from your computer and then CC or send a carbon copy to others in the class, in this case, Elaine and Katrina. So let's demonstrate that. All right, so we want to compose a message. We hit the Compose box. And let's say I want to send this message to Wendy Light. Okay. And we also want to send this to others. Let's say we want to send this to Katrina. And we want to send this to Elaine. And we have a subject is is a demonstration on how to upload a file from one's computer and send that file to others. All right, so let's attach a file by hitting the attach a file. Okay, and let's find a file that we would like to attach. Let's say I want to attach this file. Sequence of web tool skill development, actually what I'm doing right now, and I simply hit open. So I highlight the file I want to share, and I hit open and take a look at what happens. The file is being uploaded to this message, Gmail message. So we write our message. We write, let's say, Dear Hevre, this is my demonstration. on how to upload a file from my computer and send it to others. Let me wish them uh, shalom. Write my name. And all I have to do is to send this by clicking this message and Wendy, Katrina, oh, I didn't do this right. And Elaine would receive this particular file. But since this is simply a demonstration, I'm not going to hit send. I'm going to hit discard so I don't send that. But that's how you go and you upload a file from your computer and send it to others. All right. What is our next challenge. Our next challenge is how to obtain a Skype account. All right. In order to obtain a Skype account, you click on this link right over here. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. And let me show you where that'll take you. If you click on that Skype link, you get to this page. And all you have to do is click on Join Skype. So let me just demonstrate that. I'll click on Join Skype, which is exactly what you would be doing. And you get to the Create an Account or Sign In page for Skype. And all you would do is you would fill out this form, first name, email address, etc. And then complete all the information. Record these words. It's called a CAPTCHA system and say that you agree and you have a Skype account. All right, let's see what else we ought to do this week. The last thing we're to do is to request that Richard, Elaine, and Katrina be a contact on your Skype account 
and we have identified Richard's Skype ID, Elaine's Skype ID, and Katrina's Skype ID. All right, let's show you how we do this. So let's get to my Skype account by clicking over here. Okay. And let's show you how you actually make another person a contact or request another person to be your contact. You simply record their Skype ID right in here and hit return and there I am and you can request me to be a contact on your list. By the same token if you wanted Elaine, I think it was Elaine C. Solomon, there she is, and if you wanted her to be a contact of yours, you just write her name in there and click on here and request that she be a contact. By the same token, if you wanted Katrina, I think her, Katrina, I think it was dot way. If you want her to be a contact, and let's go here, and you can either click here, or you could click here, and you could request that Katrina be a contact of yours. So, let's see what we have done. We have demonstrated how to utilize the Google's video and plugin and engage in a video conference with individuals, how to call someone's number, how to engage in a text conversation with one or more people, how to send a Gmail message to several people in the class and upload a file, and send a CC or carbon copy to others in the class, such as Elaine and Katrina, how to obtain a Skype account by clicking here, and how to request folks to be a contact on your Skype account. Thank you very much. It's been fun doing this with you. We hope that it's helpful.